So hello guys, welcome back to Forja Gaming. I am your host Forja. So in this video, we are going to learn how to actually decode or reverse engineer a bash script file. So reverse engineering is very easy and very simple. So in this method, we are going to use actually two methods. Sorry, in this video, we we'll, we are going to use two methods to reverse engineer or decrypt a encrypted bash script file. So we are going to use a project called Tsunami Bomber. So I have asked the developer of it a permission on this video. So this video is only for educational purposes. And yeah, I am not responsible for any misuse of this tool. Okay. So I am just teaching how to decrypt the encrypted version of this file. Okay. So we have come to GitHub and here is the full actual repo of this you can read it and what's going on here you can see so we are actually here to decrypt this one so you can see it is fully encrypted with whatever means with symbols and letters so we can't understand anything right so we are gonna actually make means we have to decrypt it right so Let's copy the file and uh, we have to save it in a bash file so I'll do a nano bash.sh and bash.sh and control shift v and control x control y and enter so we have saved it as bash.sh now let's run try to run it and see how it runs dot slash bash oh i forgot to put the ch mode plus x to it because we have to convert it an, as an executable okay so bash dot sh so it has successfully converted so if you type in dot slash bash dot sh it should work so you can see first it connects to a server and here it said uh, you can pause and see it. It said uh, actually pip installing things yeah, as you saw earlier. Okay, I will press Ctrl C and let's see what's going on in the code. Okay, first I will clear the screen and I'll type in yes trace minus f minus e trace equal to processes open read write close minus o means output file to the log means i am storing it as a log and your file name the bash script file name so it will write in a hexadecimal code and it will take up to a minutes because uh, i am updating my system so it took too long i have skipped the video okay <coughs> now i will press ctrl c so here you can see there is a file called output.log so in the output.log you can see it is uh, like hexadecimal and uh, it is like assembly level language but uh, here some things are actually working like whatever in the code was here like import sys import os like these things okay so let's see what we have to actually means decrypt but not this so let's actually decrypt okay so to reverse engineer first i will remove the output.log file from my system so i typed in rm output.log okay my system is upgrading so it is taking some time to work on it okay so let it do it work and yeah if the deletion has been finished now i'll type in bash minus x bash minus x and the file name we have to convert and the output dot log which is the output actually the reversed engineer output and two greater than ampersand one is nothing but we have to hide it from the command prompt and yeah if you press enter it will take a long time don't think that it got stuck you have to press the ctrl c to exit out of the code loop 
so in the input and things like that it it will actually uh, get stuck okay means it will actually wait for the prompt of the user so we will press the ctrl c and get out of the loop and we will access the nano output.log means we are accessing the output.log using nano okay so here you can see if this is the actual progress that the script did so the bash script did nothing but it added itself three times means first it incremented from one and from two and from three so here you can see there are three links here so first one is a javascript file so i don't know what this javascript file does so uh okay so here there is a requirements file so let's see what is in here so it is installing the requests module okay it is very important module to send requests and get request for the api things so the code is actually working on the api okay so here is the actual code that has to be executed so let's see what is the code here you can see it is actually uh, bigger than i thought uh, it was over 500 lines so we have reverse engineered everything successfully so that's all for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video until then bye, -bye.